Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the third and deciding game of this second semifinal in the Team Liquid Legacy Star League qualifier number three. It is going to be Draw versus Jim, aka Jimbo, aka Jim Bag. On yeah. The spirit. Yeah, it's going to be. I I can't imagine it's not going to be an amazing game somehow after the way that last one went. I mean, I know game one was a bit kind of lackluster, but that was just that was. <laughs> that was my favorite game of the day. It was crazy. It was crazy. It had everything. It had it had comedy. It had it had goons missing on flat ground. It had probes killing hydralisks. I mean, it was the full range. You know. It was indeed. Love Jim Bag. What can I say? I love Jim Bag. I mean, I'm I'm becoming a fan of his already. Although, man, another Zerg, another high level Zerg in the foreigner scene. Yeah. Um, in well, I don't know if we necessarily need one, but um, <laughs> but yeah, he seems to bring out the exciting games, so, you know, who's complaining? But, you know, on the other hand, for Draw, though, I mean, in qualifier number two last weekend, uh, Draw was in a very similar situation to this, where he uh, was played an epic best of three against True Touch. He won the first game and then lost the next two in very, very intense games. So, uh, so I don't know. Draw, draw. I hope he doesn't choke again. I hope he doesn't choke before the finals. Don't yeah. want a ZVZ finals. Not he might again. Be thrown off after after how that last one went. But yeah, we'll see. Draw's always got something more in the tank for us. I mean, these are two of um, like the most entertaining players. I mean, I know I've hardly seen any of Jim, but already he's <laughs> down as one of the most entertaining players. So yeah, it can only be good. All right. So without further ado, game number three: Draw versus Jim. Alright, here we are in game number three at the bottom right. As the Brown Zerg, we have Jim Bulgaria. At the bottom left. <laughs> As the Purple Protoss, we have Sass Draw. Awesome. Wait, wait, wait to take the name seriously, by the way, Sale. <laughs> okay. You I, you I gotta give him some credit after last game. Yeah, you have. You gotta. Oh, Jim. Jim making excuses here for what was, it has to be said, uh, an incredible match. But it seems he wasn't happy with himself. So, that's it's got to be good this game, right? Because if that was him at like fifty percent, then yeah. See, that's I mean, come on. It's like, oh man, I I came back from a bad position and beat an amazing Protoss player. God, I played badly. Couldn't have gone Ugh. worse. Yeah, man. I, I, mean, I wish I played as badly as Jim. I wish I was like, you know, a terrible <laughs> Zerg player, just like Jim. Yeah. You know, beating draw in TSL TLS, sorry, <laughs> semifinals. Oh. Ugh. But if if he goes if he goes better than that it, like significantly better than that then not only will I be really impressed by his play but because of the hilarity of the situation I will also probably be on the floor laughing just because everything <laughs> scales up equally. Oh man! Oh, by the way, oh before anything too interesting happens, uh, looks like Draw's gonna scale up first. Luckily again, um, I want to give another huge shout out to Razor and Twitch, our sponsors for this tournament. Mega mm. thanks to them, of course. <laughs> Without them. We would not be able to see crazy games like the one we just saw. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah, and also my head wouldn't be so comfortable because exactly, and my head wouldn't be glowing. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Well, it might be for all we know, but probably. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so anyway, we have a gateway first here from Draw. Ooh, he's gonna block the, uh, the <laughs> hatchery as well. BM maneuver. It looks like uh, Jimbo though. Saw it coming and planted the pool anyway. So uh, Draw's gonna do some early Zealot pressure here. Now this is not necessarily like, uh, what this is is he can build a forge afterwards and do kind of a, a forge, a gateway first expand basically is what it is. So he's gonna do one gateway Zealot pressure and then later on build a forge here and then build a nexus and that'll all be tight everywhere except between the pylon and the gateway so you can just put one Zealot there to block that. Uh, it's, a, it's an opening that Draw likes to do a lot actually. Uh, I think he prefers this over the standard forge fast expand in fact. And uh, blocking that hat, uh, the natural hatchery is also part of it. You yeah. know, you're delaying your opponent from getting those additional wall for Zerg wings and uh, potentially even stopping him from making a sunken if it does get uh, get to that point. Although just with one gateway results, it usually shouldn't require a sunken. 
Yeah, I think I think it is a really good build order, and um, it, it can force a lot of unfortunate stuff from the Zerg that he wouldn't necessarily want to want to have to make make room for in his build order. So that that's good. Uh, you can really just throw your opponent off nicely, and it looks like um, uh, Jim's going to throw down the third base relatively soon as well. So going to be going very very standard right here. Um, and draws first Zealot is now out, <clears throat> taking a little bit of a break. The second Zealot is now out as well. Also just chilling. So it looks like he's going to build up. For Something a little bit more uh, significant. Maybe go for the, the three Zealous attack, which is, of course, something quite formidable to deal with in the, uh, the early stages of the game as a Zerg player. Yeah, that's very interesting. You know, I mean, Jim seems completely unfazed by the early gateway, just getting his third as normal, and then Draw also being uh, being very careful with these Zealous, I guess, because he saw that the pool was thrown down before the hatchery. He's like, okay, I can't be overly aggressive with these Zealous. If you send out one Zealous by itself, it gets fairly easily picked off by six Zerglings, oftentimes not even killing a single Link if the uh, Zerg is microing correctly. So, uh, so he's like, you know what, I'm not going to waste a Zealous. I'm just going to save it, and, uh, you know, two or three Zealous actually get exponentially better than one. Um, yeah, they do. So, uh, so yeah, and in the meantime we do see the forge as well, so uh, he's going to be able to put a cannon here as well and just defend uh, adequately. It looks like he's actually just forsaken any, any thoughts of attacking here, just going to keep massing up the cells. Although, he, uh, the Zerg also is building Zerglings as well, so, you know, both, both of them kind of hurting a little bit on the economy. Why is there an evolution chamber? Um, I don't know, Sale. Maybe he's oh, going man. for a Hydra Burst with some kind of crazy armor upgrade. Dude, I'm like, I'm trying to make a sick call here like I did with that double Hydra Den. Uh, it's just Please not do. coming to me, man. It's not coming to me. Hold on, I gotta meditate on this a little bit. I gotta use my <laughs> psychic uh, psychic abilities. Yeah, well, uh, I'm what is this? Wait for the revelation, for your enlightenment to occur. Because I need that to happen. Um, I actually really want to know what he's doing. I... Okay, he's going for an armor upgrade, as I already predicted. <laughs> yes, I'm so happy. That was a random stab in the dark, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take that as good casting. You can take it or leave it. But yeah, he's going for the armor upgrade, so presumably this is gonna be some kind of armor assisted bust. Yes. I I don't know. Maybe he's just planning for the long term. <laughs> he just wants like really good upgrades and I'll upgrade the uh, the Prudals. Um, but before you can do that though, he's going to have to deal with these four Zealots heading towards his third, completely unscouted. Uh, Nova are just now going where the Zealots were, like 30 seconds ago. Yeah. So, uh, that's going to be quite nice. Meanwhile, uh, Draw oh, also dear. getting a plus one uh, attack for his own Zealots. But the thing is, with that super fast plus one carapace, that actually counteracts this. So Draw might be a little bit surprised when he runs out with his plus one Zealots, and there are a bunch of plus one carapace Zerglings there to meet him, uh, who aren't yeah. going to get two shot at anymore. Uh, looks like, oh, the eggs morphing actually bugged that's out the crazy. Zealots a little bit. Yeah, and they're already bugged out by a drone hatching as well, so that might actually be the kind of thing which saves... Oh, very, very nice. Managed to grab a drone kill. That might actually save the hatchery right here. We have Jim doing all he can to prevent that hatchery from going down. He really needs to have this hatchery to make this game work, but he's looking like he's not going to be able to save it. Uh, and just hatching a few... Two more links and two overlords as well, which... Overlord's not so good against Zealots. That's curious. He's now way over his supply limit, which I don't quite uh, understand. But <clears throat> he's getting melee attack as well. I think he might have been planning like mass link, one one links or something like that. Yeah. Uh, that's not working. No, this this is an absolute disaster for for poor Jiminy. Uh, he's gonna lose his hatchery. <laughs> he's lost a whole bunch of drones and links in the process. Um, and also, he's got two more Zealots heading towards his natural as well. Oh, this is so, so bad for Jim. Draw is just all over him with the early Zealot pressure. He's lost his hatchery at the top at the top right. Uh, going to lose a few more links there as well. And he's going to start losing drones in his natural too. This is just calamitous uh, for him right now. Indeed it is. It looks like these Zealots of the natural will get taken down. But uh, I think this game is basically over. Although, having said that, last game, Draw was in a fantastic position as well. And uh, we all saw how, how that went, so, uh, yeah. so yeah, but the thing is, I mean, this is, hmm, because the thing is, right, I mean, when you go for this fast plus 1-1, one, one, if you, if he just goes for a Ling all in right now, I mean, that's like kind of his only option, but it's actually not a bad option at all, I don't know, it, it might do something, but uh, he's taking a third now, the Zealot's gonna scout it, yeah. bad, bad news bears for, uh, for Mr. Mr. Jimbo here, but you know, valiant effort by him, and the game's not over yet. Don't want to call it too early now. Yeah. So, uh, so let's wait and see. It looks like uh, you know his link speed is done. He's running around with these speed things. Draws just gonna pull back with his elves. Gotta be careful here. There's only one cannon at the wall, so it's uh, gonna make sure he blocks <coughs> that. By the way, this is actually link tight. It definitely it doesn't look like it on the left of the forge, but that is actually link tight. <laughs> I actually saw some uh, discussion about that just now in the chat. Uh, so just wanted to clarify that. That it's is, ridiculous, isn't yeah. it? I mean, that's that's just how brutal it works. You just look at something and you're like, no, 
Really? Yeah. Links can't go through there? And uh, in other places, it's like two buildings look like they're touching and then Dragoons walk through them. It's like, what? What? <laughs> uh, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's absolute madness. I mean, you're right, the game isn't over. If there's one thing the TLS is teaching us uh, week by week, is that the game is never over. There is always another level of ridiculous that you can reach uh, with your match. And it looks like these links are suddenly getting quite effective against the Zealots. Uh, not quite enough numbers though, they're trying to hold the top of this ramp and they might just about be successful and those Zealots are going to be temporarily repelled but there's too many of them for these links to really deal with. There's going to need to be more links if this is going to be held off and I think Jim might be once again in another very very sticky situation unless he gets a bunch more links over there right away he's going to lose that hatchery which he cannot afford to do, he cannot be losing more hatcheries. Yeah, this is actually so interesting. We've got 1-1 one, one links against plus 1 zealots right now in a fairly early game-ish situation. I, it's not something you see every day. It looks like uh, Draw kind of micro. I think Draw's probably quite surprised why these zealots aren't being as effective as he thinks they should be against these zerglings. You know, normally yeah. when you have plus 1 zealots, you're used to just result annihilating zerglings easy peasy. But in this case, he's having to hide behind these minerals here. Kind of forces zerglings into a... Uh, an awkward spot. Meanwhile, three more zealots though coming in from the backside. He's gonna try and assassinate this hatchery, and looks like gonna get a good position on this ramp once again. You know, just wants to funnel the zerglings in. Although it looks like this time, uh, might lose these two zealots. No, it looks like man, these one one links are nearly, crazy nearly. good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the links are much, much better than you usually give them credit for. There's two highly damaged zealots right there gonna go down, and this zealot attack actually hasn't been the be all and end all for Jim. So he's not looking too bad. I mean, that, that left-hand base, the process third base is going up right under the eyes of his Zerglings, and this just seems to be a bit of a theme for him right now, rather unfortunately. Um, and two Corsairs out now as well, with which Jim has nothing uh, to say. I mean, he's got a Spire on the way, he's got a Spore Colony on the way, but those Corsairs are going to be a little bit of a trouble for him for a little while now. And DT's on the way as well. Uh, oh, dear. that is What that situation is are you Meanwhile, Draw is getting his own turret up. It was scouted by a Zergling, but he's got three zealots on the ramp here to block. He's got to make sure he blocks it correctly, though. But the Zerglings could run up and at least fight the pro, which would be uh, highly annoying for him, but no, it looks like it's not going to happen. And there is the DT going in. Is there any Overlord? There's one Overlord morphing, but of course, it will be able to take it out. Easy peasy, as you said, uh, and I think this base may very well go down. Meanwhile, it looks like a Zergling actually going to run in from the south side here with his no Zealot block, and there's a couple of DTs, though, and I think those DTs are going to mean it doesn't really matter. These Zerglings won't be able to do anything. Uh, they look like they're going to try and just attack it random, I guess. I thought they were going to focus down the yeah. Nexus, but Nova's just going to run out again, realizing they can't really do anything. So now, Jim looks like he might actually go down to two bases against a three-base Protoss, which is kind of the opposite in the uh, in the base situation that you want in ZVP. So, uh, so looking very, very grim for Jim right now. Mm, very, very grim indeed. I mean, Draw has just known how to play this game. He's just, he's just really known what to do and he's known where his opponent's weak spots are going to be and he's uh, done a great job of really picking Jim apart, unfortunately. Um, and you know, all credit to Draw because he's he's earned this one. I mean, it's not quite over yet, but I think Jim is just clutching at straws at this point and he's just trying to do whatever he can to stay in. Indeed, 3DTs marauding around the map, going to check the top right, nothing there for them to kill. And uh, it's probably just a matter of time right now, I mean... You know, even if Draw does something crazy like take his opponent's expansion or something, it's he's just got a little bit too far, too big of a lead uh, for him to actually lose this game, I think. Uh, so Jim might try, you know, some more shenanigans with Zergnings. It's okay, that's it, that is what he's doing. Draw actually just morphing all his Templars and Archons. Maybe he's gonna go for a big Zealot Archon attack and kill everything. It looks like the probe's actually coming off to help against these, uh, these Zerglings here, because uh, it's a few too many for the Zelda to to angle. Just a single cannon in the back. Actually, it looks like the Zerglings, oh my god, doing an yeah. insane amount of damage. Man, 1-1 one -one Lings are good. Man, they are really, I, I really good. I just rarely see 1-1 one -one Lings this early in the game, so I don't actually understand exactly how good, but I'm game quickly gaining an appreciation right now. But the Zealots and Archons should make quick work of this. Yeah, they should, but it's, it's amazing that he can still get in there at all at this stage of the game after so much has happened. Uh, it's really a testament to the power of 1-1 one -one Zerglings. <laughs> actually forcing uh, the pro pool, which is quite an interesting set of events. And more links coming in now. I think we we'll probably call it a day on this attack uh, and try and get a third base. Okay, he's going to try and get a third base up while he still can. Um, and a shuttle there, of course, from draw, looking like he's going to make ready to do a little bit of harassment action, taking out all the scourge in the middle as well with his Corsairs. I like how Draw just checked all of the expansions on the map with the DTs. He doesn't want the Zerg to somehow have a hidden base somewhere and then, you know, lose in a silly fashion no, because no. he got overconfident, kind of like he did last game. So, uh, you know, he, he at least we at least we know he is taking this pretty seriously. You know, he's not just moving <laughs> around in his third game. He knows yeah. that this is the deciding game that if he wins this now, he'll be guaranteed a spot in the TLS uh, proper. 
He definitely yeah. wants to take this game. And uh, yeah, it looks like moving out with the courses once again. Looks like, where's the shuttle actually gone? Oh, there it is. It's empty though. That's weird. Oh, he's gonna just ferry some uh, zealots. It's not gonna be empty like. for long. Yeah. Oh man, he's gonna elevate the whole army. And although it looks like this base is actually fairly undefended. Although, wait, where are the zerglings going? I thought they were gonna go in and attack the third once again. But it looks like they're going towards a natural. Oh wait, no, no, going back. Oh. I don't know what they're doing, but it looks like the shuttle <laughs> is gonna go into the main base. Gonna drop just. Yep, just gonna drop four zealots in. Do a bit of light harassment here. Not gonna go too crazy. Or at least not until he brings the rest of his army in, hey! <laughs> Which is where it really starts to get crazy, and yeah, I'm not quite sure what Jim's going to be able to do about this once it's in there. He cannot take on this army with pure Zerglings. I mean, this is just going to be too hard for him to flush out. He's got two Scourge positioned wrongly. He's not seeing the shuttle, uh, and Drew is going to be all up in his base in just a second now, taking down the Spire as first point of order. Two of his chambers working away, but not going to be enough to save him. Queen's death happening now too, but honestly, I think Jim's seconds are number. GG! GG! Draw goes on to the finals to play against South Park. Wow. That's going to be good. That has to be good. Indeed, so we are going to see another PVZ as our finals. Our first non-ZVZ finals. Yes! I'm so happy. That's, that's, that's amazing, and he's got Draw in it as well, so Draw indeed. still has to fulfill his promise to you. Indeed, indeed. He has to win. Come on, Draw, you can do yeah. it. You can do it. Absolutely. We all believe in you, Draw. I mean, if you can beat Jim Bag, there's very, there's very little you actually can't do. Maybe. Whew, man. What a crazy series. I can't believe we have one more series still. It's like after all of those games. I know, I know. I mean... I. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really hyped for this. Usually when it gets to kind of the, this mark of a cast, I'm kind of getting a little bit fatigued, but this is, <laughs> I'm, I'm raring to go for this final one. I really want to know who's going to take this. It's going to be exciting. All right, cool. So we're going to go to a quick commercial break. Everybody go to the bathroom, get a drink, get some popcorn or something, and get ready for the finals. We'll be right back. <laughs> 